<laughs> Stop eating my bacon. No. You guys, there's not going to be enough left. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Heather. <laughs> He's eating my bacon. <laughs> That's not right. Oh, thanks for sharing, Heather. <laughs> Heather's like, bacon salt. I know this is going to be good. <laughs> Jump right on there. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Jody. Hey, Kat, who's under there shaking the tripod. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> every time you do that, that reminds me of Fuzzy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about with Fuzzy Bear? You know, the waka, waka, waka. <laughs> I get carried away, welcome, welcome, welcome. especially when we're making vegan bacon. Thank you Hi, guys everybody. for inviting your followers. Hey, if you guys are new here, book of you need help. What's up, cat? I don't know. Oh, both of you. I think oh, both, both of you. Of you? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> coconut bacon in your house too? Yeah, nice. coconut bacon is awesome. Well, hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Brittany Roche. I'm Terrence Roche. And we're the Plant Power Couple. Uh, we have a blog called plantpowercouple.com. And we love food. Basically, we love food and we love animals. And we love to make food that doesn't cause harm to any animals. And help people do the same while still enjoying your favorite foods. Your favorite like foods. Like bacon. Like bacon. Yeah. Because who doesn't <laughs> like love bacon? Fucking... <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> Marvin, no, no, our biggest yeah. fan. <laughs> Who doesn't love bacon? I, you know, before I realized what was in the bacon, I ate a lot of bacon in my pre-vegan days. Um, and it's just awesome to know that you can go vegan and you don't have to give that up. Um, Definitely you don't, not. Yeah, you don't have to give up bacon. You just have to give up animal cruelty. If you have a firm commitment to loving animals, then... You don't need to give up anything. Except blind indifference. Yeah, absolutely. So here yeah, I have my... So, yeah, that. But <laughs> yeah. other than that, you don't have to give up anything. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I get a little excited. The moment. Yeah. I've had too much vegan bacon tonight. Do, do, do. Yes, you have to give up animal cruelty, Marvin. <laughs> I'm sorry to... Uh, to put that on you. <laughs> Hashtag past life. So you guys, this is the vegan bacon I just made. And this recipe is on our blog. There are a bunch of different vegan bacon, uh, coconut bacon recipes. No, it does not taste like coconut, but it yeah. is delicious. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, what did you make, Marvin? I'll have to go see. But we're um, going to post... Carrot bacon. What else is there? Oh, there's carrot bacon, Zucchini there's shiitake bacon, 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 shiitake bacon, eggplant tofu, bacon, tempeh, seitan, seitan bacon. bacon. There are so many different ways to buy, uh, to try bacon. Yeah, yucca bacon. Yucca bacon. We made yucca or cassava bacon tonight. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, wow. mm. really good. Ooh. <gasps> I want to see that. This man. Mmm. Mmm. Kisses to you. Wow. That sounds really awesome. <laughs> Yoga bacon? Why not? Um, but we will link yoga, to this. Yoga, no, not yoga. Oh, yoga. Y U oh, C A. Um, it's a misnomer for the cassava. It's uh, uh, like a root veg, a tuber, like a potato. Yeah. Big in, in South American Latin cooking stuff. Oh, yeah, eggplant bacon. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, tonight, like I said, we're working bacon. with with uh, coconut bacon. Sorry, we're like all over the place here. Yeah. Uh, but you will, we will link to this recipe on our Facebook page. So if you're not already a Facebook fan of ours, it's Plant Power Couple on Facebook. And I'll also put it on my Instagram, which is Mrs. underscore Plant Power Couple. So you can go find this here. You don't have to take notes. What we're going to do tonight with our coconut bacon. Do -do -do -do. We are going to make bacon salt. Mm -hmm. what, what do you do, do with bacon salt? Well, what do you think you do with bacon salt? What do you do with regular salt? You put it on things. Sparingly. Sparingly, but you put it on <laughs> things to, to enhance the flavor of certain things or to flavor other things. So bacon well, salt, you put on everything? You put on things <laughs> that you want to taste salty and bacony. I made some already. Yeah, you put it on popcorn, um, a tofu scramble would be awesome on that, potatoes, um, yeah, a salad, pretty much anything. <laughs> Bacon salt sounds decadent. Yeah, I have never seen this, yeah, someone said popcorn, right. absolutely. I've never seen this done 
in a vegan version, I've seen it done a lot with, um... Like prosciutto and... and yeah, and like, you know, the stuff that, that you're, you're, you're not going to eat that stuff because you're way too good for that because... You know better. You know better, exactly. And when you know better, you, you do, do better. better. And you eat lots of vegan bacon salt. So, it's really easy I'm to do. Go. Once you make the coconut bacon, which you will all know how to do when you go to our Facebook page and click on the link... You're going to throw the coconut bacon. How much do you have there, though? Um, I have, like, I guess that's quarter cup. Quarter cup of coconut bacon. There it is. In its glory. This is my mortar and pestle. Now, if you don't have one of these, what can you, um, what can you use? I would put it in... Terrence is good at figuring this stuff out. I would put it in one of the, <laughs> uh, like, bullet microprocessor type thing. Yeah, coffee um, grinder. Coffee grinder, if you can run to the coffee grinder. Especially if you have one that you really um, use specifically for like fresh herbs and spices oh, instead rock. of the one. Um, <laughs> otherwise, you might deal with bacon flavored coffee for a couple days, but that's, that's probably not, not that bad for a lot of people. <laughs> I like I a like, hammer. I um, like how Marvin suggested a rock. Steam you roller, could use a, a rock. rock. I would I would suggest a <laughs> flat rock, a uh, spice more so grinder. than a rounded rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My windmill grinder. <laughs> You got some interesting uh, stuff over at your place, Marvin. So basically, I have mine in my um, bacon is pig asshole. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, people eat some weird stuff, don't they? That they do. I'm just going to crush down on this until all of these little pieces are nice and tiny. You want to get that for your... Yeah, I got it. You good? Okay. I am a strong, strong woman. Who is he thinking? Thank you, my Angelo. <laughs> I am a woman. <laughs> Phenomenal. Uh, river stove, yes. Um, <laughs> one of those old washing. You have eaten monkey brains. Things. Why? Why would you eat monkey brains? Are you vegan now? Did you eat monkey brains in your past? That's probably not something I would have eaten in my past just because I was. Like, uh, I was one of those people. I know it's considered. Uh, yes, it was in your past. Part. Okay, yes. yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, yeah, delicacy in some parts of the world. And kind of. Uh, yeah. I remember um, seeing that in an Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, I don't like the flavor of coconut either. I know Marvin said that. If you don't like the flavor of coconut, that's okay. Don't get the unsweetened coconut. And then don't get the it, unsweetened? Or? No, get the unsweetened okay. coconut. Sorry. <laughs> it was bad boiled seitan. Yes. Yeah. No, yes. That's, that's, that's like not the worst. That guy looks like a professor? Well, he is a teacher. Who, me? That guy looks like a professor. Who? Oh. Yes, no man muscle needed. What up? She's got plant power. I'm a Spartan, and I got plant power. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is what it's looking like. Yeah, you can get it down to really, really... Uh, nice and fine. Yeah, nice and fine. Yeah, we want it to be able to, like, really be sprinkled. I mean, I'm going to probably break keep this going, down a little bit going, more. Keep going, so it's almost dust-like. Uh, you want a mortar and pestle? Um, he got this one, so he can probably explain that to you. Where did I get that one? I think I had like a, I somehow I ended up with a gift card to William Sonoma, I think. <laughs> and this is what he got. Yeah, I got, I got that. <laughs> Let's do something um, that'll make us But more. I've seen them in... I actually really like it. I've seen them in like, I think I've even seen them in Walmart or Target. Um, I've seen them sometimes in the back houseware section of like Ross or TJ Maxx, you know, one of those um, mm. uh, outlet the fancy type schmancy. stores. Uh, just if you're getting it there, well, really, if you're getting it anywhere, you know, really check the, the mortar unit to make sure that it's not cracked or, or severely cracked through because nothing's going to be worse than going to do something the first time and banging the side and having the whole oh. thing fall apart on you. How's so this is there? tasty. I'm going to add some salt. Now, remember, after my coconut bacon came out of the oven, I let it dry for like a good 15, 20 minutes. Um... Steal it from Chili. Well, yeah, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it was so easy to break up. I'm going to add about, let's try like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. Now, we're not eating this like, you know, Bacon. by the handfuls. <laughs> you know, you could. So we're trying to use this as a condiment really or a seasoning. So you can go a little heavy on the salt. Mm-hmm. I can yum, smell yum, yum. it. Yeah, I can smell it. It's like, it. oh, it's, it's, it's so wonderful. <laughs> She's very excited. You're not going to cry about it, are you? <laughs> I'm going to try not to. Yeah, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> All 
All right, so you just want to mix this around until <laughs> I borrow a cup of salt. Yeah. And just mix it around until all that salt is incorporated. And there you go. That's your baking salt. And you can put more salt in if you want. You can put other spices in there. Um, but that's, that's it. That's really all you need. And then you're going to store this in an airtight container. Uh, you can throw it in the in the refrigerator, but since there's no meat in it... You don't need to. I, I don't think you really need to. No, that's not like... I'm not a scientist. Nor is he. He teaches English. Yeah, no. <laughs> And British literature. But that would be my guess. That it doesn't need to be refrigerated? That it does not need to be refrigerated, no. but it can be. You don't need to refrigerate the coconut flakes. You don't really need to refrigerate any of the ingredients that go into the marinade to make them... Um, Bacon flavored, so. Oh my gosh. You guys, just look. Just look. Bacon salt. So, moral sprinkle of the story is sprinkle it on everything. Moral of the story is you don't have to give up bacon, you just have to give up animal cruelty. And odds are, if you are not vegan yet, um, but you're, you know, you're here, you're listening, you probably don't agree with animal cruelty anyway. So keep eating the bacon and ditch the animal cruelty. If you need help going vegan, that's what we're here for. You can head over to our Facebook page, Plant Power Couple. You can see this recipe and you can also, um, you can shoot us a message. If you're having any troubles, we'd be happy to, uh, to help you. Or if you have any recipe requests, we love to take those as well. Um, so thank you guys so much. Tempeh I'm, bacon is awesome. Yeah. I'm sprinkling coconut <laughs> bacon salt on top of yucca bacon. That is where <laughs> it's at. <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> and it's very good. <laughs> Too big. All right, I'll have a little bit. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Bacon on bacon. Bacon on bacon. Ow, I bit myself. All right, go hurt yourself. Yeah, it's been a while, right? There you go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I know, right? Mm. This is going on a tofu scramble tomorrow for sure. Oh. Uh, but that's it. What? Well, I'm gonna have to go to work. Did I get tofu scramble. Well, what if we were having it for dinner? Brinner? Breakfast for dinner. Mm, all right. <laughs> that can happen. Definitely. Thank you for joining us. Um, hope you try it and really like it. Yeah. I, know I just did. Mm -hmm. Once again, check out PlantPower, uh, PlantPowerCouple.com. And else? I will link to this recipe on Facebook, Plant Power Couple. Have a great night, you guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for being vegan. Have yes. a great night. We'll see you soon.